Okay, Barbara, here's video number three. I went looking for Georg's uh, birth. Did not have success. I suspect they were not in the village at that time. But I will show you the process that one would go through. Unfortunately, because this is a large village, and if you go searching page by page, it takes you six, ten pages to do one year. Contrast that with my husband's village where they have a child every page and a half in the book. But it has to be done. So again, if we look at our list, the one, oh, remember from the marriage, he was, they were married in 1813, and he was 24. So that makes him born in about 1789. It's the same book that we're using all along. And I did not find him, as I said, but let me show you how I went around searching. I'm not going to read everything. His name was Georg, so I'm going to look for Georg, since they seem to be writing it in German. If it were in Czech, I'd say Yuzhi. If it's in Latin, Georges. I think if you pronounce that in Czech, Latin, it comes out gorgeous, but that's okay. All right. Johann, Thomas, Elizabeth, probably Joseph. Oh, here's a Georg. I don't think that's a Franz. And so House 80, that doesn't look familiar, but Romnik Joseph. So his father is Joseph. It's not Georg, son of Georg. Thomas, Johann, and Johann. So nobody on that side of the page. Anna, Johann, Josef, Georg. Oh, this is Shula, I think, not ours. Anna, Anton, Anton, Johann, Josef. Oh, here's a Georg again. House 414, pretty big. Oh. Now, the father looks like Georg here. This looks like a possibility, doesn't it? And it's got some of those extra letters like yours did, except it doesn't start with a P. This is how they made the S. So we have to just say I could not find him in this book where he should have been. I looked for three years, 88, 89, and 90. I did find a sister, though, in 1794, and in House 137. You remember, that was where the marriage was from. Elizabeth, there's your name, Georg, mother's name, which I cannot read. Well, look, it starts with an S. You know that much. And so I did a screen print of this, and then I found another one, and I did a screen print, and then I thought I was going nuts because my screen prints were the same. And what I found out was, in the digitizing, they accidentally got a duplicate. See, I've got page 90, 1794 on image 47, but I also have it on 57. So once in a while, something like this happens. They skip a page, they duplicate pages, then they straighten it out, and then they renumber <laughs> all of the uh, slides, and you think you're losing it. Finally, the good news is I found, I think, the wife, the mother. She was 18. They were married in 1813, which makes her born in 1795. It was early in 1813, so of course it could wrap back into 1794. And I think I found her here. Remember, she was from House 32, and this is 132? Well, somebody could have made a mistake somewhere. And this sort of looks like that name, whatever it was. But C-Z-A-B-A -A, Thomas. And then there's his wife's name. So the next step will be for me to post these images on one of the message boards asking for help. See you later.